As the barber combed Emily's hair away from her face and neck, a wave of uncertainty washed over her. She watched as he carefully applied shaving soap to the back of her neck and the sides of her hair, preparing for what seemed like an unexpected step in her haircutting experience. Emily's heart raced as she questioned the barber's intentions. Why was he applying shaving soap in those areas? Was he planning to shave more of her hair? The anxiety bubbled up within her, but she reminded herself to trust the process and remain open to whatever transformation lay ahead. The barber's actions were deliberate and precise, his movements exuding a sense of concentration. Emily's mind raced with thoughts, wondering what the end result would be. Would it be another drastic change? She braced herself, uncertain yet willing to embrace the unknown. With the shaving soap applied, the barber picked up a straight razor, its blade glistening in the light. Emily's breath hitched as the barber positioned himself to begin the shaving process. The weight of the moment hung in the air, a mixture of anticipation and trepidation filling the room. Gently, the barber started shaving the back of Emily's neck, meticulously removing any trace of hair in that area. His touch was light, his movements precise, and Emily couldn't help but notice the cool sensation of the razor gliding across her skin. The fear that initially gripped her began to wane, replaced by a strange sense of tranquility. As the barber continued, he carefully shaved the sides of Emily's hair, creating clean lines that contrasted with the remaining length on top. The process was meticulous, ensuring a seamless blend between the shaved sections and the rest of her hair. As the barber removed the faded black cloak, a sense of curiosity tinged with apprehension filled Emily's thoughts. She watched as he replaced it with another transparent cloak, tying it tightly around her neck. The sight of the new cloak raised questions in Emily's mind. What was the purpose of this transparent covering? What would come next in this unconventional haircutting experience? Emily's pulse quickened, but she reminded herself to trust the barber's expertise. She had already embraced unexpected transformations throughout her journey, and this moment would be no different. With a mix of anticipation and nervousness, ready to see what lay ahead, the transparent cloak allowed Emily to catch glimpses of her reflection in the mirror, her eyes meeting her own gaze. She observed the barber's focused expression and the calmness that emanated from him. The barber gestured to Emily, signaling her to rise from the chair and move to another seat where her hair could be washed to remove any excess hair. Emily complied, her anticipation mixed with a sense of relief after the intricate haircutting process she had just experienced. As Emily settled into the washing chair, she leaned back, allowing the basin to cradle her head. The warm water cascaded over her hair, soothing her scalp and rinsing away the remnants of the haircut. The gentle touch of the barber's hands as they massaged shampoo into her hair created a moment of tranquility amidst the flurry of emotions she had experienced. The weight of the haircut seemed to wash away with the water, leaving Emily with a renewed sense of lightness. The excess hair that clung to her skin and clothes disappeared, along with any remnants of doubt or fear. Closing her eyes, Emily embraced this moment of quiet introspection. She focused on the sensation of the water running through her hair, cleansing not just the physical residue, but also the emotional weight that had accumulated throughout her transformative experience. After rinsing away the shampoo, the barber carefully applied conditioner, leaving Emily's hair soft and lustrous. As he massaged the conditioner into her locks, Emily felt a sense of renewal. As the barber guided Emily back towards the moldy barber's chair, a sense of unease settled in her stomach. She couldn't help but wonder why she was being asked to return to a chair that seemed less than ideal. Nonetheless, she trusted that the barber had a purpose for this request, 
and followed his lead. As she sat down in the moldy chair, Emily's apprehension grew. The musty scent of the worn-out upholstery filled her nostrils, and she couldn't ignore the dampness beneath her. She shifted slightly, trying to find a comfortable position, but the chair seemed to resist her efforts. The barber approached her with a solemn expression, his eyes focused on the task at hand. He began to comb through her damp hair, meticulously separating and sectioning it. Emily observed his movements closely, her curiosity piqued by the unexpected turn of events. With a firm grip on the scissors, the barber started to trim her hair, focusing on refining the shape and removing any unevenness. Emily's initial discomfort began to fade as she realized that, despite the chair's condition, the barber's skill remained unwavering. As the barber removed the cloak from Emily's shoulders, she took a deep breath and slowly rose from the chair. She glanced at herself in the mirror, her hair now styled and trimmed, though the experience had left her feeling uneasy. As the barber informed Emily of the cost of the shaving service, quoting $50, she felt a mix of surprise and disappointment. Given the unprofessional and unhygienic aspects of the experience, she had hoped for a more reasonable price or even a gesture of goodwill. However, Emily realized that dwelling on her disappointment wouldn't change the situation. Instead, she decided to handle the matter calmly and assertively. She expressed her concerns to the barber. Emily, feeling frustrated and disappointed with her flat top haircut, confronted the barber with a direct question. Why did I shave my hair into a flat top like this? She wanted a clear explanation for the unexpected outcome. I apologize for any confusion or disappointment you may be experiencing. As a barber, it's important for me to provide a clear explanation of the services we offer. I understand that you may have missed the banner in the barber shop that outlines the details of our shaving services. It specifically states that we specialize in flat top haircuts. As Emily's frustration grew, she shifted her attention to a board hanging on the wall nearby. The board caught her eye with its bold lettering and outlined conditions for military flat top shaving. Curiosity piqued, she began reading the details presented before her. 1. The cost of the barber's service ranges between $1.20 and $1.100, including a flat top haircut. 2. Upon completion of the shaving service, the customer will have the option to sign a contract for monthly haircuts for a duration of one year. 3. The terms and conditions stated in the contract are final and binding for both the customer and the barber. 4. If a customer enters the barber shop, reads the conditions, and decides not to proceed with the service, they are free to leave without any obligation. 5. By sitting on the barber chair and proceeding with the service, the customer indicates their agreement with the stated conditions. Overwhelmed by shock and sadness, Emily's emotions resurfaced and tears welled up in her eyes once more. Feeling desperate for a resolution, she turned to the barber with a pleading expression, hoping to convey her distress and appeal for understanding. With tear-stained cheeks and a quivering voice, Emily mustered the strength to express her heartfelt plea. She explained how the drastic change in her appearance had deeply affected her, leaving her feeling vulnerable and insecure. She emphasized her trust in the barber's expertise and pleaded for any possible remedy that could restore her confidence. Emily, still distraught and eager to find a solution, pleaded with the barber once again. Her voice trembled as she expressed her willingness to pay any amount to rectify the situation. She explained that signing a contract for a year of monthly haircuts was not something she desired or felt comfortable committing to. Hoping for understanding and flexibility, Emily implored the barber to consider her request. She emphasized her willingness to compensate for the services rendered and expressed her gratitude for any accommodations that could be made. 
This is a contract, the barber said coldly. It says that you will give me your hair, and in return, I will not sue you and put you in jail. But I didn't do anything wrong, Emily said. You don't have to have done anything wrong, the barber said. All I need is a reason to sue you. And if you don't sign this contract, I will find a reason. Emily looked at the contract again. She didn't want to sign it, but she knew that she didn't have a choice. She took a deep breath and signed her name at the bottom of the contract. The barber smiled. Good, he said. Now you're mine. And with that, he took the contract. If you don't come, you know what he's going to face you. Emily stared at the card in her hand. It was a simple piece of paper with the date of her next appointment written on it. But the words the barber had spoken to her echoed in her mind. What did he mean? Who was he talking about? Emily didn't know, but she was starting to feel scared. She looked up at the barber. He was watching her, his eyes cold. What do you mean? she asked. The barber smiled, but it wasn't a friendly smile. You'll see, he said. And with that, he turned and walked away, leaving Emily alone in the barber shop. Emily stood there for a moment, trying to decide what to do. She could go home and try to forget about this, but she knew that she wouldn't be able to. She walked out of the barber shop and into the street. She took a deep breath of fresh air and started walking. She didn't know where she was going. She walked for hours until she came to a small park. She sat down on a bench and stared out at the trees. She thought about her life and all the things she had to lose. She couldn't let the barber take her hair away. She had to find a way to stop him. She sat there for a long time until she finally came up with a plan. It was a risky plan, but it was the only way she could think of to stop the barber. She stood up and walked out of the park. She had a lot to do before her next appointment. Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I just wanted to take a moment to thank you for all your support of my channel. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to share my stories with you. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the story. What did you like about it? If you enjoyed the story, please share it with your friends and family. And if you could take a moment to like the clip and subscribe to my channel, I would be so grateful.